welcome back to this channel so today i'll be covering one question that has been really asked in my inbox it is actually one of the most frequently asked questions in my inbox right now and the question is should you become a virtual assistant or how do you know it is the right time for you to become a virtual assistant there are four key things to consider before you decide to become a virtual assistant one do you have the necessary skills that are required for one to become a virtual assistant so some of the things that um, are typically required for any virtual assistant regardless of the kind of niche you decide to go into the first one is communication skills are you able to communicate are you able to reach out to your client and tell them that this particular thing will delay or they can expect something by this and this time and another thing that is required to be an effective virtual assistant is organizational and computer skills are you able to work on a computer that could be a laptop or a desktop do you know how to like create folders do you know how to use google drive of course all this can be taught but if you already have such skills it's high time you utilize your skills to become a virtual assistant so in as much as you may have the soft skills that uh, include computer skills, organizational communication skills, there are also specific uh, skills that are required for you to become a virtual assistant. Some of these, okay, depending on the kind of niche you go into, you'll need to be equipped with the kind of knowledge that goes into carrying out the tasks in that particular niche. For example, if you decide to become a um, say a graphic designer do you know how to use photoshop or canva are you able to creatively think and interpret the kind of content that your client has in mind into something that is um, eye-catching something that can attract people to your clients uh, maybe social media page or their website or something like that number two do you have the necessary resources in as much as starting to work as a virtual assistant won't cost you anything there are two yeah there are two things that you will need one is a laptop or a desktop and connection to the internet a virtual assistant is someone that works remotely and that means that you have to have a means of accessing your clients and that will be over the internet and of course i've been asked quite a number of times whether someone can use their phone and the short answer is no and the long answer is you can but you will really struggle because a majority of the things that are done as a virtual assistant need a large screen and some of the files that clients send for example i edit podcasts so some of the files that are sent can be so big that your phone cannot handle them for example if the files are in video form they can be so large and the, your phone might not be able to handle such huge files number three do you have the time and flexibility to work as a virtual assistant being a virtual assistant means you get to dictate the time that you work you get to dictate how much um, of your time you want to commit to clients work say for example if a client hires you on a full-time basis do you have the availability to support them say maybe eight hours a day or whichever number of hours that they want you to if you decide to work on a part-time basis does your job like your main job allow you the flexibility to be contacted by your client wherever they need to reach you this is something you should also consider and this is something you should also have in mind when you decide to either do virtual assistance as a part-time thing or as a full-time thing Number four, and this is something that um, I would say uh, really attracted me to the world of virtual assistance is whether you enjoy working independently and remotely. A number of times, well, most of the time you will be working probably from home, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, I, for example, sometimes go to a co-working space. Uh, if, for example, maybe I need to interact with people or I just want to change my environment because most of the time I work from my home office. And so if you want, or rather if you enjoy working independently and remotely, that means you uh, enjoy like uh, using the same space that you used maybe to eat, it's the same place you'll work, it's the same place you'll hang out with your friends and you don't mind this, then virtual assistance is for you. The last thing which is I would say is a bonus is 
are you someone who can push yourself and manage yourself well when a client hires a virtual assistant they expect you to be someone who can organize themselves someone who knows when something needs to be done and they don't need to be followed up every single time so if you're the kind of person who needs constant reminder and constant follow-ups then i am afraid you might not be meant to become a virtual assistant because one of the things that a client really needs from you when you become their virtual assistant is your ability to organize yourself your ability to deliver tasks on time or even earlier than uh, the time the two of you had agreed and the ability to push yourself beyond what is expected of you if you want to keep your clients and this is something i have learned over the years that i have worked as a virtual assistant specifically as a podcast manager is being able to go beyond what your clients expect i for example usually make sure that my clients episodes are scheduled like a week or two weeks in advance so that should anything come up in between the week or just before the uh, episodes are meant to go live I know I'm covered for say like two weeks so if for example I want to travel and I know at a given time I want to be available doing this ensures that my clients are covered and none of their work or none of their schedule is interrupted so if you think you can work independently if you have access to the internet and you have access to a laptop, if you have organizations, organizational skills, and if you have the resources, like in terms of skills, you already, maybe you are an admin assistant in your office, maybe you're an accountant or you're a social media manager, then yes, this is the right time to become a virtual assistant. Consider this a sign for you to get started if you've been wanting to do this for a long time this is the year to get started and let nothing hold you back if you want to ask any questions if you want to reach out to me be sure to follow me on instagram at women working online and on facebook we have a facebook group that is free that you can join and ask as many questions as you have and it's also called women working online as virtual assistants